Greetings to you, Crocodile Army. So, I just wanted to share with you a conversation that I had a couple weeks ago. There were several of us around a table for lunch, and there were several people, most of whom were Americans, and uh, all of whom were very well compensated professionals in their fields and pretty well established in their careers. Uh, mostly between, you know, mostly, mostly 30-somethings and 40-somethings. And uh, there was one person that was not for the United States. And he asked a question about, uh, he was like, oh, well, what do you guys think of your, you know, the, your health care laws, that kind of thing, what all this controversy that he was hearing about. And uh, I knew that immediately the conversation was going to get fairly heated. And it, it did. Not, not personal but it certainly got fairly heated and I knew just because of the you know the mixed politics of the people around the table and it was interesting how how the whole thing went down like I was thinking in my head I was like I wonder how long it's going to take for this conversation to devolve into the those people that are taking government services and are mooching off the government teat and that sort of thing, you know, all, all that sort of uh, nonsense that you hear about. Um, and it took about 30 seconds, I think, to devolve into that, and, and it went quickly. It, it just went straight from, straight from, oh, well, you know, there has to be some way to make healthcare more, more affordable, you know, if it's not this, it's got to be something. And then it went directly to well, you know, there's lots of deadbeats out there, and they'd be just as happy to, you know, take whatever they can take. And, you know, when I was younger, uh, I, you know, I didn't even want to take government services, even though I qualified for them, uh, because, you know, it's just a bad road to go down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I fought the good fight and, and said, hey, you know, you realize that most of the people that are in that situation are people just like you who are in it only temporarily, and it's not some kind of a, a grand lifestyle choice that most people make uh, to, be, to, to be in that position. I mean, there's always going to be a few people like that, sure, but are we going to make our laws completely built around the fact that there are always going to be a few people that have no interest in, you know, being a part of the system? Uh, no, I don't think you can do that. I, I think you have to make it based on the the 99% rule that... Uh, and so, anyway, uh, I thought it was pretty interesting, and there were a couple people that actually that actually came to me after the conversation and said, "Hey, keep fighting the good fight," but they didn't want to really, you know, they didn't want to really get into it right there. They just weren't as interested in arguing about it as I was, I guess. But uh, but it was it was pretty interesting. And I always find it fascinating, like in a in a country where we've decided it's okay for healthcare to be really expensive and for insurance to be really expensive and and it's okay to be in a capitalist system where it's a meritocracy and people get paid more for doing certain things and all that and that's all okay we've decided that we're going to be like that and that's fine but then why do we then also decide that healthcare is going to be dependent on all that too and most countries most western world countries find that abhorrent even a lot of non-western countries find that completely abhorrent but um, but we have no problem with that, and uh, yeah, that was just uh, that was just I, I I knew all this before that conversation, of course, but it just crystallized for me. It's just like you know, even people that are are, are doing that are doing well and uh, that they can develop this kind of um, loathing for people who are not, and they can see them as being the problem. Like I'd be doing even better if it not for those people. And I've mentioned that before in videos, but just thought I'd share that with you. Those damn poor people are making me poor. Might only get to go to Europe once this year because of them.